What's up, everyone? So today I have a really special video for you because I'm on break. Um, and even when you're on break, while I do take rest and I um, unwind, recharge, I'm not working nearly as much as I should be, um, you do kind of have to maintain some level of <laughs> knowledge. And for, for that, I often have to do flashcards. And today I actually haven't done flashcards in pretty much almost over five, six days. Um, and so the other good part about doing flashcards on a, on a daily basis is that you get really good at knowing how much you can catch up on. And you get really good at being like, I know this. I'll just catch up on it later on. So today I have about a thousand flashcards that I woke up with at the beginning of the day. I'll show you right here. Um, and throughout the day, my goal is to finish all of these flashcards by about two because I have other plans because it's a Friday. <laughs> so by two, I want to be done with these flashcards. So throughout the day, I'm going to show you how I'm doing these flashcards. I'm going to show you like how I'm approaching them. E even though I have over a thousand that are due today, I'll show you how I can still finish them in a timely manner and also make sure that I'm like actually learning them as I'm doing them. So let's get to it. So it's been a while since we last talked, but as you see, I've made some headway here. I have 824 left with 72 new. Ideally, I want to finish all of these by today, so we'll see. But I also want to show you how I triage. So these are my clerkship cards, the cards I've made on clerkships. Clerkships are the most relevant piece of information for me right now because they're the most recent and they're also the most relevant to stuff that I'm doing in the hospital. So for me, it's really important to do these cards before I finish, before I start reviewing any of my preclinical stuff, just because this tends to be the most relevant. As You'll see I already finished my pediatric cards. There's some new cards I haven't seen yet, but I don't want to do those yet. I'm going to now focus a bit more on psychiatry and primary care. These are both from my primary care and psychiatry clerkships, and these are all cards that are made by me. So let's just do some of them together, and I'll show you how I do them. Um, so you'll see here, what does SBIRT mean? This means um, situation, brief intervention, referral to treatment. Um, let's keep going. Uh, brief negotiation has four steps. What is it? Establish rapport provide feedback, and this one is going to be, um, let's see, establish rapport, provide feedback, um, encourage motivation, and encourage change. Um, let's keep going. What is cardiac syndrome X? is basically when you have chest pain, you do an angiogram, and you find no relevant findings. Um, let's see. Yes. However, when the, yep, there we go. Name three tests you'd like to order for someone who's having chest pain of cardiac origin. Well, I'd want to order a D-dimer potentially, which is probably also in part with a CMP. I would also want to have within the CMP, if you have an AST, ALT elevation, that'll be helpful if you want to start a statin. Maybe also look into getting a TSH because maybe they have hyperthyroidism or maybe even, let's see, is there anything else? A CBC, maybe they have anemia. So right there, those are all correct. There's a lot of different ones here. Um... Let's see, syncope can be broken down into two general groups. What are they? You can have cardiac-related causes of syncope and non-cardiac. There we go. Uh, what is occult bacteremia? Occult bacteremia is when you have a positive blood culture, but you have no, like you have blood, you clearly have bacteria in the blood, but you have no symptoms. Uh, the bacteria, presence of bacteria, well, bloodstream of febrile children who have no apparent foci of infection and look well. That's correct. Most vaccine reactions occur how frequently within vaccine administration? They usually happen within two weeks. That's correct. What is the 3 two, one rule for Lynch syndrome? It means you have three people affected across two generations, and one of them is lower than 50, younger than 50 years old. Three persons, two generations. And you'll see that I actually attached here the question that I had on a test that I got wrong. And so it just kind of is a way for me to remember, oh, this is where this question came from. First line treatment for acute otitis media, amoxicillin. There we go. How long do you need to have chronic idiopathic fatigue for it to be chronic, classified as chronic fatigue syndrome? This is about six months. And you'll see that this was actually a lecture that one of my classmates gave, and I included the slide from his lecture uh, that includes this. Um, in the stroke, you have BFAST. What do each of these letters stand for? Well, the F clearly stands for um, oh, fudge muffin. face, facial, facial asymmetry. Yeah. These are our tympostomy tubes, tympanostomy tubes. Is that what it is? Yeah. Okay. So I'm almost done with this, but this is actually showing you how I do a lot of these cards and I'm actually thinking of them as I'm doing them. You'll notice that I don't have my timing add on on because when I'm doing these to really learn them, because I haven't done them in a long time, I think time just adds an additional pressure that I don't want. So yeah, this is where I'm at and I'm going to keep going and I'll keep you guys updated. All right. So the last time you guys saw me was actually two days ago, which was a Friday. 
what I said I would do a thousand donkey cards in one day and I ended up doing like 400 and then I had to go to San Francisco with friends so I didn't even end up catching up and so today is Sunday and I still have a thousand cards because I my reviews piled on and I did a couple yesterday but I didn't finish but I have about a thousand forty one cards due today it's about noon I will be walking around for about four and a half hours today because that's how much time I have before my next commitment because we do have stuff going on um, at my house in general. So at 4.30 I have another commitment. So for four hours I was like, oh, I have time to study. And as you all know, I like studying now, walking around. So I'm going to just walk around for about four hours and hope I can get these thousand flashcards done. So let's do it. I'll let you know how this goes. Let me give you guys a bit more of a lowdown on how exactly this works. So I turn on my Strava app, which actually maps my walk. So I'm going to map how much I end up walking. Um, and then I exit out of almost all the other apps except my Notepad app and my um, Anki app. The Notepad app is for any thoughts that enter my head about things that I need to do. I go to that Notepad app and I just type in whatever it is that I uh, am thinking about or I need to remember to come back to. Uh, and then the Anki app is the only other app I have open and I'm only doing Anki, and then the Strava app is mapping my location. So the good part about all of this is I'm exercising, um, I am focused on one thing, and if anything happens to enter my head, I don't have to act on it right away. I just make a mental note of it through my notepad and I go back to what I'm doing. It's like studying meditation, just like in meditation where if any new thought enters your head, you come back to your breath. It's the same thing here. If new thoughts enter my head, I acknowledge them by writing them down on my notepad, and then I go back to doing Anki. And surprisingly, that's really efficient because I don't get distracted that much. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I haven't even started yet, but as I said, it's about 12. And uh, let's see how I can do a thousand flashcards in one day. So it's 12.45. Um, I'm about 950 cards. I go much slower, as I said, especially when I haven't done cards in a while. It just takes a while for me to get in the zone. But I found this like, I mean, I think it's a church, but like, it's just beautiful up there. So every time I'm walking, if I see something like this, I'll just sit down and do some cards here. Uh, but now I'm noticing I'm getting a bit sleepy, so I'm gonna get up and go to a coffee shop nearby, which is about a mile away, but I've already walked 1.1 miles. Um, and I sat here, did some cards for a bit. Uh, and now I'm gonna go back, but this is a great spot. The breeze is beautiful. There's an amazing purple tree, purple everywhere. And um, the cars are going by, which I really like. It's just nice to see life. Um, and so yeah, now time to go to the coffee shop, uh, but I'll do cards on the way. Prerec hasn't even been distracted once. That's what the impressive part is. I haven't just been working and I haven't even been checking my phone um, except to talk to you guys um, or to note something that I'm like, oh, I should look into this concept later. But anyway, let's go to the coffee shop. Far, I have done 275 cards in 53 minutes. I think I also have walked at least three miles. And um, yeah, it's only 120 about. Uh, so as I said, most of the time that I spend outside, I, like pretty much I probably have spent like 60 minutes outside and 53 of them have been doing those cars, which is actually a really impressive uh, successful ratio in terms of the amount of time I spend studying out of what I allocated. Like at home, I might allocate an hour to study and then I would study maybe 40 minutes. But in this case, it was 53. Um, so I'm gonna go back to it now. But just so you know, I have about 800 cards left. But what my goal is, like, I'm going to go to a Phil's down there. And at the Phil's, I'm going to get coffee and sit there and do cards a bit more rigidly. So hopefully by the time I leave Phil's, I won't have that many cards left. The shop that has the best coffee. I have 700 cards left, but I finished like the two most important decks that I usually triage. And I'm gonna drink coffee now, and I'm already sitting. So let's see how long it takes, but I'm hoping I could easily, hoping I can do 700 cards in about two hours. It shouldn't be that long, but I also have to walk back home. And so I have about two and a half hours to get these done, but we'll see where it goes. And I've also walked about like 2.7 miles. So I'm gonna take a bit of a rest and try to knock out a decent chunk of these cards right now and maybe start playing some music. All right, let's do this. So I had to take a bit of a break because I got to Apple headquarters, which is literally in my backyard, which I feel so grateful for. Um, I posted some stuff on my Insta story about how cool it was being in there because they have like this model of the entire new headquarters, which is right over there, but this is the visitor center. 
Um, and then you have an iPad and it augments reality and it shows you everything. Like from this little small model, you can see exactly what the whole headquarters look like. And it's huge. Uh, and it's crazy because when I was growing up here 10, 15 years ago, Apple was not nearly this big. And now they've pretty much like taken this whole thing and made it their own. But that visitor center is super cool. You should check it out. But this is also the benefit of studying while walking. You can take mini breaks like this. It's actually like I get to see things. And now I was like here by nature. By the way, I'm still walking. I'm at probably about four miles. Um, I have 350 cars left, but I have an hour. So it's going to be a stretch to try to finish them. But I was very happy to at least get to look at this. Uh, but now I'm going to start walking home and uh, we'll see. I'm running out of battery. I have like 8% left, but I do have only about 100 review cards left, which is huge. Um, I did 6.2 miles. I'm going to show you all of that right here slowly. But the point is, I have about 100 cars left. It's almost 420. I'm going to get home. I got stuff to do, but hopefully I'll be able to squeeze in those 100 cars in like dead time that I'll find um, in between all the commitments that I have going on today. Uh, and got in like a solid, I don't even know how many hours of work, but at least I'd say a solid four hours. And especially when you combine it with the exercise, like it's for me really worth it. And it's also important you guys know it's four hours of work across the week so it's not just four hours every day that i'm working especially when i'm on vacation but one day a week i will have to catch up so it's four hours of committed work for one day a week on vacation which is a really good sacrifice that you have to make especially when you're in medicine you have to make sure you're keeping up with stuff so point being i am hypoglycemic right now really tired but i'm gonna get home get some food and then i got some stuff to do but yeah got in 900 cars pretty much and 6.3 miles what up all right see you guys my sisters are sitting right here. I don't know why they're doing that. <laughs> nervous supplied by, so I only have five left. So I figured we would do them together. So phrenic nerve is supplied by C3 to C5. Um, what is this condition? This is varicella zoster, which means it's reactivation of the chicken pox virus, which can, reach to herp which can lead to herpes simplex or something. Or in seroflurane work by binding GABA channels. Um, lesion on the left spinal thalamic at the level of C4 leads to the inability to feel on the right side, temperature and pain. Yes. Brown to card prudence with ipsilateral upper motor signs because that tract is already crossed. Um, and that's that. I think that's it. I did a thousand flashcards. I'm done. I'm done, everyone. Congrats. They're just sitting here. Thousand when? Today. I did them today. Thousand. Okay. Are you proud? I did. I walked. Oh, I should show them that. I walked. I walked six and a half miles, and I did a thousand flashcards. And it's only been eight, and it refreshes at eight, so it's perfect. So I did a thousand flashcards. So if you guys like this video, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Right? <laughs> Tell them to do it. Follow do it. <laughs> do it. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me. On Instagram. <laughs> Pre Pre-rack city. What's up, guys? It's actually the next day. I'm already outside. I'm studying. I'm kind of hanging out, chilling. I'm gonna go meet up with friends later. But I don't remember how I left the video yesterday. So like, comment, share, subscribe, do all of those things, especially if you like seeing content like this. And let me know what you thought about, um, you know, the way studying goes and uh, if you have any recommendations or if you do something differently. But other than that, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.